Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Whether you're new or old, thank you for taking time to watch this right now. So for today's video, I wanted to do another story time here. And this one I feel like really needs to be put out there uh, for everybody to know about, you know, cause I really do want the word to be spread about what happened and all that. So let's just get right into it. So this took place Actually, this year, I think it was around February. Yeah, it was at February. Me and my fiance decided to go out for our little anniversary or like anniversary of our relationship in February and decided to go to this really nice place that is kind of near my house. I know there's multiple locations called The Melting Pot. And if you guys have never heard of it or don't know really what it is, it is like a fondue like type restaurant. It's very fancy, it's very like intimate. You know, they have different courses. Like you have like cheese fondue, chocolate fondue. You make everything yourself, like with some oils, you know, you make everything yourself and it's really fancy. It's really good. We decided to go there. I had been there a few times over the years. My fiance had never been there before. So we decided to just splurge and celebrate and go there. And every other time I've been there in the past, always had a good time. I've spent uh, birthdays there, never had an issue. So we go there, I made a reservation there and all of that. And we sit down and the meal was pretty, pretty good. Uh, the waitress was, was kind to us. She was nice, but she hardly ever was around, hardly ever was around to help us or make sure everything was going well. She kind of was like missing. You know, the time she would appear is when the next course of the meal had to come, she'd give it. And even then sometimes other people came around. So it's like, we didn't really see her. She wasn't there for us and really doing fully her job. But except for that, she was nice, she was kind. And at the end of the meal, we had to actually like go find her because she wasn't showing up. And because of that, like, uh, we kind of deducted some of our tip from her just because she wasn't helpful and just because of all the things I mentioned. And I remember first I had written down the 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 amount of tip for like 15 to 20% or whatever. And then I really like thought about it and realized that, you know, and I had talked to my fiance and really realized that she didn't really do the best of job. So I just deduct a couple of dollars from that. I scribble it out put in whatever and we left and I remember when we left I had told my fiance like what if they end up like overcharging us and taking whatever they want out it was just me being paranoid because um just in case you guys don't live in America if there's anyone watching this like we have to give our own tips and it's not really the most secure thing out there because you know your bill is kind of open-ended and there's always that possibility that the waiter or waitress could go in and put whatever amount but it is illegal and they're not allowed to do that but i just got worried about it you know like what if she saw that i scribbled out her original amount put less and do that and my fiance was like no that won't happen that would not happen like that's illegal she can't do that but i was so worried but i had let it go and moved on and then the next day came around and I checked my bank account and realized that she did end up going in and adding her own tip. She ended up adding in the original tip I had originally scribbled out, but I had scribbled it out, put in a new one, signed it. So what she did was illegal and wrong. I told my fiance this and he checked his bank account and said, oh no, they charged me the whole meal twice because we paid separate bills that's just how it is you know we were saving up for our wedding so we just paid separately so she went in and put in her own tip amount for mine and on his took his whole bill and multiplied it and charged him twice so i called the melting pot immediately and i told them the issue and they were looking up my information and first they told me yeah we don't have your name or the card that you used on file but I'll see what I can do. But there's no record of you being here. And I said, well, I can show you a receipt in my bank account. I can show you the receipt that I was there. So you better, better figure this out instead of telling me that there's no record I was ever there. So he said, oh, I'll figure it out. 
and I'll call you back. Well, I waited and waited and he never called me back. So my fiance decided to call about his dispute and suddenly when he was talking to them, they suddenly remembered and said, oh yeah, she was here. Talk about me. Oh yeah, we have her on record here. And as for him, they said, oh, you know, we'll work through this and all that. And then we didn't hear anything after that. So then I called again and I spoke to a different manager. I wish I remembered their names. <laughs> I remember at the time I knew their names, but this happened months ago and it just forgot the name. So anyway, I called him back and I talked to him and I said, listen, like, I'm getting mad here because first you guys are going back and forth, like, the record's not here, and you have an employee that is illegally taking money from people and getting away with it. Like, you need to sit down with her and you need to talk to her, you need to figure something out and I need a refund. And he told me, okay, we will refund both of you guys' bills. Keep that in mind because that comes up. He told me he would refund my full amount, my fiance's full amount, and would give us some money to compensate. And I said, okay, when should I expect that? And he said, probably within a couple days. So I waited a couple days, and maybe about three days later, my refund came through. I was refunded the full amount, and my fiance looked at his bank account and saw that what happened was they took away one of the charges, but then added another on. So he called, right? And he's trying to get through to somebody. And somebody was like, oh, I have to talk to the original person you talked to. Like, you know, I'll get back to you. And I'm really pissed off at this point. I am mad. So I call after that. And I talked to somebody. And I finally had talked to the original manager that I spoke to. And he said, yeah, no, it's coming, it's coming, just wait, like it's coming. So I said, okay, it better come, like you're telling me. And we waited more time and my fiance's refund never came. So he calls them again. I think at this point, we're up to having to call them four or five times at this point. He calls and says, okay, where's my refund? And this manager had the guts to say, no, I talked to your fiance and I told her that I refunded hers, but I wasn't going to refund yours. And he just hung up and he was done. And I said, I told my fiance, like, we need to go to the bank about this because I had talked to my bank about this and they said, if they don't give you a refund, you can uh, file a like member dispute or a charge dispute or something like that to make them give us a refund. I had already gotten mine, like I had stated, but he didn't get his. So I said, you should call your bank and file this dispute to get your money back. But my fiance and I, we had been through so much trouble that he just didn't want to keep going, you know? And that was up to him. That was his money. Me personally, I would have done it. I would have fought till I got every penny back that I was owed, but he didn't. And I had tried to tell this guy, like, you know, you need to talk to your staff because what they are doing is illegal and wrong. And he kept lying to me. That's another thing I forgot to mention. One of the times I called, the actual waitress picked up the phone and I had her transfer me to the manager I talked to. And when he picked up, he claimed that that employee, that waitress that we had talked to, hadn't come in yet. Hmm. Isn't that weird since I had just spoken to her on the phone? Now, I did not mention that at the time. I think I was just overwhelmed with everything and I was just kind of like, I just want my money back. Like, fine, you're lying to me. You're telling me that you will talk to this waitress when she comes in, even though she's there, which basically tells me that they're okay getting away with this. So after this, I had totally gone online. I had trashed them with reviews, like giving them one star, trying to explain what happened. I contacted like their HR and their corporate office and tried to get in contact with them. And I never heard back. So I also wanted to share this story time to get this out here and tell you guys, do not go to the melting pot. Do not give them your service because they are okay with illegally stealing money from other people, protecting themselves, and keep continuing to do this illegal stuff, 
and they don't care at all. And I'm starting to wonder how many more people who had been screwed over by the same waitress or by this company altogether. And I think this is ridiculous and I think this needs to be out there. I don't know if this is gonna go very far. I know my channel isn't too big. I don't know, but I just wanted to warn you guys above anything else. That's my story for you guys today. If you guys did enjoy this, please give it a like. Please, please do consider sharing this so everybody else knows about this company that scams people and doesn't care and lies to save their own butts and get away with it because I do not want anybody else going through this like we did. And if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. It's that red button down below. And don't forget to hit that ding -a -ling -a notification bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And I upload every Saturday and trying to upload every Wednesday. And all my social media links and everything is down below in the description. And I will see you guys later. Bye!